fits here, though. This is the thing. If it fits the game, I don't care. Same. This is what I was like, talking about earlier. I don't. I don't think Doom 64 soundtrack fits. I think it. It sounds like it comes out of a fucking uh, haunted house and you're, does not. No, fit you're absolutely at all. right. It's the soundtrack for that game is awful. However, Doom 64, pretty fucking good game. You could be really ambient though and sound really cool and still not have the best gameplay though. Unfortunately, it, ultimately to me, I know this could be controversial for some people. I'm playing a game to have fun and gameplay is the most important thing for me. And if the game's not fun, no matter how good your story is or how good everything else is, I'm not gonna wanna keep playing. I think that's something that a lot of people can respect. Mm -hmm. How do you count visual novels in that? Or visual novels get... are a book. If I'm going in wanting to read a book, I will enjoy it. Okay. That's that's completely fair. It's it's a book. It's a book with very slight like mini games, usually. Dragon Ropa is a book. Occasionally they make you do. Occasionally they make you skateboard though into. Your I was mind. about to mention that of the fucking surfing mini game into. <laughs> Check out my sick ramp I made. Silent Hill Two is a game that I would say I enjoy the gameplay of. It it works. It works for what it, you're trying to do. I know that uh, some. No. Of my, some of my friends made a joke for Dragon Ropa that like. What happened, what Hajime is experiencing is on like a screen for all the other people, and they're all like cheering for him, just like, go, 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 go. I'm gonna give you a good example. So, John, you probably know this game because of uh, Luca. Uh, Rule of Rose. Yeah, no, That's she loves game. that game. That fucking game it has a great story, and my friend forced me to play it all. I fucking hated playing every moment of that game. I, I, I have story, never but... heard anyone say they like the gameplay of Rule of Rose. I've heard they just like the yeah, story. Yeah, so my friend was an adamant defender of that game, going, No, 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 it's, it's a good game. I, I really want you to enjoy it. And I was like, let me tell you something, friend. That The gameplay, he just said, oh, the controls suck on purpose because it's a horror game. And I was like, that doesn't excuse bad controls. Like, no. He's a big Silent Hill fan. I'm like, the, the controls in Silent Hill and Resident Evil, they work. I could still enjoy those games today with those controls because they're designed for that. When you're playing a game like Rule of Rose, controls are fucking terrible in that, and we kept dying over and over again because of how awful the controls were. That's why one of my friends doesn't like the old Resident Evil games. That's fair. As That's much as I love Resident Evil, it's real fucking hard to go back to. There's a oh, reason sure. they keep remaking those games over and over. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition. I do, so I do dust. like Adel mm. choice However, choice routes, but it's always bad when I'm just like, man, I can't really go back to it and get experience it, like, aside from the when story, because it's like, again, I know what, I know what all the routes are going to get me. Yep. That's that's one of the things with visual novels too. You're you're not replaying those games again, usually. There's more. I mean, I probably there are probably so many lines or scenes that I've forgotten from from that that I probably enjoy seeing again. But probably, I, I still remember the fucking Bush and Carry shirt in that game. Late into the dark, cold night. In which game? In Katawa Shoujo. Into the ancient structure. The Bush? I don't remember. Yeah, someone, someone has a Bush carry shirt. No what the like, like the president. Oh, yeah. Bush Cheney. Yeah. That's okay. what it was. Bush, Bush Cheney. That's what it was. Take back to London and the British Museum. <laughs> what a weird thing to just have. I wouldn't really say I'm fucking around. Someone asked, uh, is John beating the game or is he just fucking around with it? I wouldn't say I'm precisely fucking around in it. I mean, you have to look around and it's a physics based game, and that's part of the reason that. A lot of this game is just fucking around. Especially when the spoop appears. Like a lot of world building, a lot of looking around, trying to find stuff. Because right now I'm supposed to be looking for the four chemicals. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the plot of this game is good. I don't doubt that. What was that about Misha's shirt? It was funny. It's, it's funny because it said, you know, Bush Cheney. And it's this random Japanese schoolgirl. It's also like way after that would have even been a thing, right? Yeah. I think, I think Obama was president by then.
Oh, that's, you know that's what? completely. I think I realized one thing that I hate about this game that uh, I will actually <laughs> give. That part I liked. <laughs> I think I realized one part about this game that I dislike that uh, I uh, kind of like, I want to give, of all games, Eternal Darkness credit for. Mm -hmm. If you lose all your, san your sanity in this game, you die. Yeah. You can't do low sanity runs. And Which is that a is thing that took me out of this. Fun. Yeah. Because mm. playing low sanity is one of the coolest parts of Eternal Darkness. And oh, only in high mode? I that really? Game. I thought that I thought that was just straight up. Hmm. Oh, is it? In this game or in Eternal Darkness? In Eternal Darkness, you lost health when your sanity was gone. Did you? I thought it stayed. No, no. Actually, I think maybe. No. Right. No, Eternal Darkness. I'm pretty sure. It's it's like very slowly losing May health, but it's not super noticeable. My hand tremble as I write. But, like, but like half the fun of that game is to play in low sanity, anyways. Yeah. That my memory will fail me if I linger. Congratulations, you won a bet. Yes. To answer your question though, uh, Bleach Bummer. I thought Resident Evil 2 Remake was a really scary game. They changed up so much of it that playing the original game and then playing that is a very different experience, and that caught me off guard to the point that it was scary when I streamed that game five times. It was fun. mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage... I like how we started with like a high energy game like Ninja Saviors, <laughs> and then now we're just, then it's like RPG adventure game, horror adventure game. Like, uh... The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity. Welcome to High Risk Fortune Cookie. <laughs> if the best sanity moments have already been spoiled, should you play Eternal Darkness? A great slab of stone. That's a tough question. Um, that is a tough question. I, gave the I think that ruins a lot of the fun for you if you already know what's going to happen. And a lot of what happens will not work today. Because it'll be like, video one on your TV. It's like, well, that, that doesn't really exist anymore. Most TVs don't have that. I'm having more fun just throwing shit around, I think, than anything else. Now I understand why PewDiePie... Did That's what he did why he became famous. Stuff. Yeah, just for <laughs> he just threw doing, stuff like, around. That and some really not funny jokes that were mm. really bad. Uh, That's what time mm -hmm. does. As well as like uh, the uh, how he was how he got marketed to like so many places a lot. Oh of, yeah, like, that whole thing. I forgot about that. I forgot about that too. Yeah. This game oh, is a case no! study. My mother's ashes were in there. I think uh, we have amnesia. It's hard to remember. Grandpa. Now you live in my lungs. I mean, there's no oil left in the lantern. I'm fine. Oh, you're gonna make me physically do that? Fuck off. There's another oh, thing yeah. too. There shouldn't, God, there shouldn't be. Oh. Ooh, there shouldn't be a menu for that either. It should just be a button to just be like, hey. All you're coming back to me now. His jokes were terrible at the time. Hey. I think uh, millions of people would disagree with you, but I mean, you know, how so the internet works. I mean, that, that's just a personal taste thing at this point. Like, I there's mean, no, I there's no point They're arguing bad. that. People will like what they like, and people will hate what they hate. For sure, definitely. Oh, <laughs> well, now you're gonna have amnesia again. Keep giving myself amnesia. Daniel just keeps giving himself amnesia over and over again. Can't figure out why. Have I played the actually, sequel to this? No, I have not. This is actually a huge prank by the original Daniel. Just like, okay, I'm gonna lay all these traps for me to keep getting amnesia. They're not even <laughs> traps. He's just, like, knocking... Like, it's, it's just home alone but, on himself. But see, Daniel knows that Daniel of no memories would be messing around with all of this stuff, and then he would hit himself on the head so, and give himself more amnesia. So we have, like, a Rube Goldberg amnesia machine is basically what you're gonna get? Yes. Amnesia, a machine for rubes. <laughs> oh no! Piano closed. Piano closed itself. What? Are we? We're near the monster, aren't we? I, cause I recognize this room. I don't think monsters appear where there's light. I think. No, but I, like, I remember shit like this hallway. I 
Like, I feel like... Those trees are scary, you're right. Evergreens, <laughs> ooh! Does anyone here not have amnesia? Can't remember, honestly. Oh. oh John, do you have amnesia? I can't... Hmm. I don't think I do. If you forget you have amnesia, does that mean you're just living normally? Your memory just comes back, just like that. Here we go. The best Hold way on, to cure amnesia slow. is to forget you have it. Dog. Let's ask the slowpoke. Oh no, blood. John, don't touch it, I already warned you. No, remember, he hit himself on the head, you haven't warned him yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> John, don't touch, the, don't touch the blood. Can't touch the chair? Sure. Piano. Oh, no. Oh, oh, can oh. I play the piano anymore? Of course. Of course you can. Well, well I, I couldn't before. It's Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. I well, sure love this legitimate game. theater. Oh. Ooh, paper. Can't even unroll it. Oh, wait, now we can kill the roach. We don't need an exterminator. <laughs> Why is that a wet sounding paper when you drop it? Ugh. I love you, Dr. Zeus. That's light it that's on fire. Zeus, not Zeus. Dr. Zeus. Well, Zeus is from the actual movie, isn't he? Like, I think there's a Zeus as well. Or am I thinking of the... No, that's the more recent ones that have Zeus. The recent trilogy that I do not care for. Oh. Oh, no. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. Well, good thing I've got... This. Yet. I'm pretty sure it's like Z A Z A I, at something like that. I don't know. Yeah, Z A I U S. Puppet Master. Puppet Master posted it. Central Prussia, Kingdom of Prussia. That's where we are. We're in Prussia. That's us. Prussian blue paint. Back to Cattle Shoujo. Oh no, hang on. This piece of paper is making me freak out. Oh no, we shrunk! 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. Mm. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry. Shimmer. Yeah, you can walk in any direction. Right. I'm heavy to carry, but I can jump. Body's so heavy to carry. Body's aching all the time. Sent shivers down my spine. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Just keep jumping for it. How would you feel get, if they put a chair here? So you get can just, there, get there, just throw it. it at the light and break it. <laughs> I'm going back Mama's to bed. There. Mama's there. Mama's there. I'm going to throw it. I Boing. Out, Yeet. In my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. What if I told you about going towards the light? Alien memories of... <laughs> Oh wait, that's right, you don't remember. Again, <laughs> I'm sorry. God, this is not interesting, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I feel bad, because this is definitely not playing it the right way, but also I'm just like... Mm. It's a quick hook. Impeach to get one more game? Nah, it's 1.30. Yeah, it's it's no. too late. There's no more games. That's why I haven't impeached this earlier. I'm just like, we're. it's either this or nothing. So I was like, maybe we'll get to the monster in time. So You can say hello to him because he's not scary when you actually look at him. He's just like, hello. I just want to give you a hug. It won't take long until things start falling apart. I'm the water monster and I like more hugs. The water monster, we can't even see you though. How do we know you're here? 
We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble, and there's a risk every yeah, let me, cave in I'll, I'll be real. As, as a streamer, uh, if here, you're here, not having fun, here. other people are not going to have fun. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a real yeah. thing. So I honestly I forgot how fucking long it takes to get to the monsters too. I thought for some reason it was like relatively quick. That is one of the reasons why you should really play games that you're going to be interested in. And if you're if you're realizing that you're not interested, you should either change games or stop streaming mm -hmm. at that point. Like a good example is uh, I let my chat vote the other day on what I want to do next because I picked up a couple games from the, the Steam sale. So I was like, all right. Uh, here are games that I like, that I'm interested in, that I haven't played, and it was, like, Sonic Forces, because someone gave me that, which is super sure I could do that in, like, one stream. DMC 5. I mean, I love DMC. And then <clears throat> Hitman 2, the new one, because I love stealth games. I was like, alright, you know, I'll, I'll enjoy all of these. So, I'm gonna have fun with those, for sure. Okay, so now I need to find... Is this the part where I actually get something to play with? <laughs> Don't Put it in H. Hey, man, two is great. So I've heard. Yeah, that's that's why people pick that one. I, I mean, could... am missing something here. I, I really dig the fact. I don't know if you have uh, Hitman two, John. Do you? I don't know if yeah, I have yeah. two. I have one. You have one. I think it's in both games, but you can make uh, missions for people to do. Oh, wow, you make custom missions for that? Yeah, uh, you have to use pre-existing maps, I believe, but it's just like, go Fair kill enough. this person, wear optional stuff, wear this outfit, or use this weapon, and that's insane. You get to, like, write a plot for the mission. I, I've, I've only really watched Hitman from uh, Tom's highlights, and occasionally yep. I checked out one or two of the streams. I've heard they're, it's a very good series, so yeah, I mean, thank, I'm excited to check it out. One of my favorite things is there was a, a streamer that I watched whenever they stream, which is, which is very rare. How did that? How did that? Work how did fun? holding the chair? Power, power work? chair. I threw the chair. When you activate the first <laughs> you didn't. Oh, you did a one-inch chair that. punch, of course. Exactly, it's a one-inch chair. All the energy was channeled into your your uh, your <laughs> Isn't all this chair. A bit excessive. You can never be too careful, Dan. Just don't make up, mix up Hitman One and Two with Hitman One and Two. Yeah. God, I hate that. That's actually accurate. So yeah, you can you can make your own missions, and they did at the time. They wanted to make their own, like let, let their community make missions, and uh, you had to play as a chef. So a lot of their missions were, uh, cause like that was just their self-imposed challenge. You might know them as the devs who did uh, 100 foot robot golf and roundabout. Wait, what? 100 foot robot golf? Yeah. yeah. Have you not heard of that? Those. Those I've are the, the never devs, heard yeah. of this, but that sounds hilarious. It's it's inspired by Neo Turf Masters. So essentially, they were they always just played as a chef, and then were like, okay, everyone just make us missions. We're gonna play as a chef. So one of their missions is uh, they needed a food pun. So the person who made the mission, the mission name is Italians Iced. You gotta kill Mario and Luigi. Oh. Or at least guys who I think are supposed to be them. Why you gotta do that? They just lost their RPG series. I know that but they're Nintendo owned by just Nintendo owned now. Mario and Luigi. That's amazing. <laughs> we might get, but they still haven't appeared in Smash Brothers. Hmm. I thought it was just the three. Oh, because the other one went back. There we go. Wow. A hidden pass. Oh, here we go. Found the closet. I think this is the Secret first one we hide. Tuttle. I think this is the first one we hide in. Secret tunnel. I hope it is. In the Grab the key and I think hide in there. Yeah, hide in there. Or don't. I don't really care. Do you want to show people what the monster looks like if we don't see it? And it just opened right back up. Like, this monster is only scary because you can't see it. If you knew what it was, you'd be like, eh, it's not very scary. Oh, not yet, damn it. All right. Not this time. Not this time. No way. We created it. 
Oh shit, it's officially December, that's right. The best feature on Better Twitch is out. The ice what? cube. What? Do you not know about the ice cube from last year? Oh, no. it's on Better Twitch. I only have FFZ. Okay, so there's a thing on Better Twitch where you could cover an emote in an ice cube that they did last year. What? Yeah. Oh. It's a really stupid feature. Let's go say hi. I'm there's guessing so Snowy puts like a snow cloud on t over. I them. guess there's also a snow cloud. Yeah, it's it's pretty neat for what it is. Because I'm just I just see I uh, I, I uh, with uh, the words right next to it's, it. It is actually snowing on top of her right now. If you have better. Okay. Hello, Mr. Monster. Oh, the salt is frozen now. Oh, now I can. How can you freeze? The wine cellar. It's in an I ice mean, cube. I guess. I guess technically it's already frozen. Since. I'm gonna I'm gonna just send you a screen cap on first so you can see what I what I mean. Okay. Well, that hurt. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. My health is all is good, but my sanity, his head is pounding and hands are shaking. Mom's spaghetti. Here you go. Enjoy your ice cubes. Oh, those are kind of cool. Yeah, no, it's a nice little thing if you have better Twitch that you could just see people using. Oh yeah, the wine cellar's over here. Have you lost your sanity? Sanity is a requirement for our kind. Use the key on the door, really? Got my sandy back. All it took was me using the key. I forgot how to turn the key. Oh no. How do doors work? I'm lost. I'm alone and scared. I will say this. I'm throwing boxes everywhere. I, I genuinely found the Silent Hill slash Resident Evil Scooby-Doo game on the N64 was scarier than this. <laughs> Got yes, my memory that's back. a genuine thing. And now my legs have amnesia. I don't know how to walk now. <laughs> I don't think that's what that's called. I think that's just called broken legs. Those were memory load-bearing legs. Thank you very much. Of course, of course. That's where the brain is in this man. game's been on for like half an hour and the monster was on screen for 12 frames that sounds right mm -hmm. yeah the pacing of this game is awful and we've got amnesia <laughs> again <laughs> it's so dumb it. dude like <laughs> uh, oh this is so good like i get that they're trying to go for atmosphere but i really feel like even they like botched it on a lot of these. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just so jaded at this point that I'm not the target market for this. But I was always I so confused why so many people were like, oh my god, I'm so fucking scared during this. It's, it's like I said, because you can't see the monster. When, it, when you don't know what it is, it's scary. I mean, how would you feel if I told you, you know, someone, there was a monster out there with like a chainsaw or something? Directly coming for you, and you had no idea what it looked like, so you couldn't really prepare. You just knew it had a chainsaw. Well, I I, I would know it had a chainsaw, so I'd be pre mentally prepared because I'm like, oh, what, it's well, gonna what if fucking it, what if chainsaw decided, me. What if he decided not to hold the chainsaw for like a day? <laughs> what kind of fucking <laughs> monster is day. this? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the monster's really shitty at its job. Like, he's well, trying I'm, to I'm trick the you. chainsaw he's murder. I'm the Texas Chainsaw Massacre monster, but I mean, well, now I'm, that I'm, I'm in Leatherface, Canada, I gotta, but I'm not I'm just gonna. Tactics, John. The crash springing, the dash kinging, the crash springing. Instead of using a chainsaw, now that he's in Canada, he uses a pizza cutter as his tool. I, I've been what? saying for years, we gotta have a pizza cutter murderer. Oh, 
Why is, how is Remove this the boulder. I don't think you're actually supposed to do it. I think it's just stuck there. But that's another thing. It's hard to tell in this game. Punch it. Punch the boulder. I'm doing it. This is what I wanted. You do do this. <laughs> do do. Nice. Really? Was that the whole thing that was fucking up? That tiny box there? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Welcome, welcome to physics-based games. Oh my god, of course the chair was the answer. The chair is the answer to everything in this game. Throw it at a fucking monster, it'll die. Destroying the bit right. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> I, was... I can't fucking see what's going on anymore. That's yeah. probably for the best. <laughs> I did. Like, one, one, of, one of the effective things uh, about the old Resident Evil games and Silent Hill games that makes them work is... <laughs> Uh, one thing that's really effective in horror. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, that's it. Where's my Where's my power chair? I need my power chair oh. back so I can move this out of the way again. Fixed, fixed camera angles are really scary because you don't know what's behind that corner, even if you're in the uh, room. Uh, I like how uh, you can lift anything with a chair, but oh yeah, no, your bare hands, no. It's because all the all the weight gets shifted. The strength, you know, it amplifies. What, I, what I'm trying to say is, if Dan were here right now, he would know that this is secretly a wrestling game. We solved <laughs> the puzzle, guys. All we needed was a chair. <laughs> Remake 2 does not have fixed camera angles. I think they were talking about doing a uh, mode with that at one point. Of a master in the chat, I can't believe John say hi. Wayne the Rock Johnson with a chair. Hello. Just kidding. There's no monster. Oh no, there's there's blood. Oh no, it's dark. Oh meat, my favorite. It's dark oh no, blood. I'm losing sanity. Oh no. Oh no, I broke something. Oh no, a flashback. Are we near the, We're nowhere near the water park. Are we near the water park? Maybe. My chest is going to burst. He knocked so hard that he fell apart. Oh, that poor guy. Except We're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> John needs to get through this area and the next one, then water. Yeah, we're not gonna get there. No. We're already over stream end time anyway, so. Well, we saw Do the we monster want to call it here, things. or. Well, I'm trying to remember how close we are to having to worry about the stealth sections. Which is the worst part of this game. As someone who loves stealth, like I was saying earlier where I'm going to be checking out Hitman 2, this is... Stealth, when you force it in a game that's not stealth-oriented, is always garbage. John Ask Warren. anyone. Uh, Oogie, I've not played... I have no math when I have my screen, but I've seen an LP of it, so... Great game. I'm very are familiar you with it. I assume you saw the Ratsu Prey? Uh, not the Retsu Prey. Uh, it was uh, the actual Let's Play that was on something awful. Juga, are you telling me that the stealth sections of Legend of Zelda are bad? Yes. <laughs> Ask any speedrunner. Mm. Uh, fair enough. I think they actually like skip it entirely now. For which one? All of them. <laughs> I don't know if you can skip the one in Skyward Sword. I think there's some pretty big skips as of late in Skyward Sword. I know that there are, but I don't think you can skip the entire Song of the Hero. I've got my self-defense chair with me. Okay, so the, the stealth in, like, Hitman, I imagine, or Middle Gear, or Serious Sam, all work because they're designed around that. Okay, there we go. Now, all I've got my magic loading chair. Half of the all game. right, you see... You've, we've been joking about this, the whole Swole John and everything. No, this is this is where it came from. This is actually the Buff Tom John experience. <laughs> Didn't you remember? You were you were actually the one with the muscles all along, Daniel. It's just it's only the one arm though has muscle. Everything else, nah. Oh no! Oh no! Someone... The door closed. Oh my god! I'm scared. I'm really not the target market for this. <laughs> no. Uh... I feel so oh, bad. Yes. There's got to be a couple of people that are like, mm, why? <laughs> why you? Why are you I the honestly, one playing this? 
I don't think this game would have been voted on had it not, been a regular not someone who's actually scared of things. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't really get scared, but I have like... The... So I don't get scared, but I flinch a lot easier. Just like, whoa, okay. That's what I meant by jump scares are bad earlier, because it's just the fact that it's loud is what's annoying you. Oh, they're warning me about enemies. It might finally be time. Go say hi. Hello. Where's my best bud? Where's my best bud? We have to go say hi. It's 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 not scary at all. It doesn't even like. Hi. You just go say Hello. hi. Hello. Stare at him right in the face. Come back, come back. I ain't afraid of you. I ain't afraid of no him if You've never seen him before. He looks really funny. Get back here, coward. Did he like run or what? Yeah, yeah he's, he's you're running not away. To, you're not meant to be chasing or chased by him yet. I think this it's, is. It's like the, the next. I think it's when we get the last chemicals when he actually does shit. Something like that. Ah, fuck it. He's, he's running right. from you. You're the monster all along. Yeah, so Maria's right. Scripted non important counter. Boo. Nice, we found an ointment. Or orpiment, as it actually said. I hate that is saying that uh, th that they're not even scared of this, even though they're usually scared of stuff. Well, it's because yeah, like, so here's the thing, because you're you're basically getting my experience, and because yeah. I am like tongue in cheek about all this, like you're not getting the actual spooky experience because of it. Like it's like how when people were saying like I like Dead Space would have scared me, but with the way John played through it, it wasn't scary. It was just comical. And that's the thing, like. You, you mean with, these streams the, are essentially you living through my stupid personality and experience, and if I don't find something scary, you're probably not going to find something scary. It's it's what I got at earlier with, if, if John's not having fun, you're not going to have fun. Are you saying that the origin of Door Gods wasn't the scariest thing ever? Oh man, I well, my ass off of that. <laughs> yeah, it was just fun. Alright, we got our four chemicals. If yeah, only I don't, Dead I don't Space think I could go in the game. last door, right? The one that's stuck. I think you might be able to now. Oh, I think you're right. The monster opened it. How nice oh, of him. How, very kind of him. I'm actually a very nice person. Would you like to come to the bake sale on Friday? FNAF is a spooky game. God, we'll just go watch me play FNAF. It's it's not it's again it's because I the jump scare is loud. I fell asleep during that. <laughs> when 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 the jump scare is loud, it doesn't stick with you. It's just annoying. You, you're upset because there was a loud noise in your ear. I more often will laugh at a jump scare after the initial part. Uh, like, let, me, let me put it this way: if I were to edit the vod for this or something, and like this had jump scares, I would edit the sounds to be just the things that aren't scary. Mm. So like Waluigi's going like, and it wouldn't it wouldn't be scary. It it wouldn't. It would just be like, oh, there's a person on screen. That's it. Oh like no, with, the blood uh, and guts are back. Ooh, that's what you oh, think of that, like uh, my little cousin go, was uh, my little cousin was like uh, doing like tiger roars or whatever, and I'm just mm -hmm. like, hold on, be prepared for the scariest roar ever, and just went, Rawr. and then she hid behind her father. Amazing. Startled me though, Jack. Can you like tell her not to do that because that almost gave me a heart attack. What? What Montara was saying. Oh, okay. Rawr. Have I tried the Five Nights at Freddy's phone game? No, I'm not that interested in the series. If, yeah, if you're not interested in one of them, you're not gonna be interested in any of them. <laughs> totally expecting me to do this. Uh, I hate to tell you this, but this game doesn't have jump scares. This is just run from the thing you can't fight. Yeah. Oh no! Science! Alright, Science Papa has trained you for this moment. Thanks to Science. Am I supposed to put the containing the chemistry pot there? It gets points for not relying on jump scares? That's correct. It does. But it's still not good for different reasons. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What? 
That's that's a handle. That's why. Oh. Oh well. Need to turn on the burners first. All right. First, we gotta get some thalo blue, and we need a little bit of laser and crimson, and we need oh, some sap God. green. See, this is just. This is excessive. Yeah. No, you see, Silent Silent Hills is actually well. It would have been good. It, like PT I was saying earlier is great for what it does, and it doesn't really rely on jump scares. I got a pot of acid. And when it when the jump scared PT happens, the like, what little it is if you can even call it that is you did the thing wrong is all that means. Man, you got pot and acid. Dude, I'm jealous. We just need some mushrooms. It's a good day. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, what am I gonna do now? The stairs are broken, we can't go upstairs. It proms tomorrow! <laughs> oh no, I'm in my underwear right now! Oh man, everyone's gonna make fun of me now. Damn it. I thought there was like boxes I could move to do this. Right, PT would have been good if Kami were an asshole. I mean, it, PT is still good. You can. Still I would like to point that. out that did that on its own. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I don't even know why I thought of to make the stupid prom, the hey, Spider-Man prom joke, but. <laughs> I literally did not let go of that. That happened automatically. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm missing oh, the chili oh, cook off. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't like chili that much. I like chili. Chili's really good if you do it right. Alright, now I have to, like, go... Ow. Go ow. Go ow. Go ow. I have to go down here and drop some acid. <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was about to say, hey, you said it. A wound is bleeding quite badly. Well. Hey, Meta Knight, how's it going? Very badly. Thank there you. A few cuts and bruises. I still got a slight. Only a few. My Smack. legs still hurt from before. Ow, I guess I have amnesia again. So <laughs> I did actually, I did actually rewatch that scene in Japanese. Meta Knight just says nothing. I got an achievement, alchemist. Congrats, you did it. Now people will know you played this game for enough time to do something. Crap. <laughs> Are we finally at the point where the monster shows up? I forget. And again, Sam Zell, that's anticipation is important in a horror game. You're still waiting for it. You want to be scared, but this has been like an hour almost of just waiting. Mega Nerd. I that agree sure with you to a point, here. but yes. there are so many good songs in the support. Japanese version that aren't there. Oh, so is Kirby it water has... time? Fuck yeah! Oh, Hell yes! yes. The actually good, good part of the game. John, I'm here. John, I'm already here. Be careful not to stray. No, you're just the spirit. The... <laughs> we need the water water. Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Too much anticipation definitely does. Like horror is probably what I would argue is the hardest genre to make a game out of, yeah. and a movie. Ma yeah. Maybe just hardest genre in general. Uh, I was talking about this the other day with some other people. Uh, horror movies are terrible nowadays because they all want to be that really shitty movie that teenagers will sneak into. Because again, I lived through this for many movies. I I know that uh, yeah, the movie's gonna be terrible. They're not gonna remember. It. They're only seeing it because well, uh, it'll be cool that we got in because we're like 14 and we're not supposed to see this and my mom I will admit, I was immediately. Half, when the trailers were first coming out I was half curious to see Happy Death Day mm. I worked for that I, I knew yeah so Get Out was actually a good movie I will I will defend Get Out I because there was a breath of fresh air yeah. it's, it's got a really good twist like if you've not seen that movie do it. I joked about how uh, I know I've talked about this with you John but like I, th I think it's Key, or was it Peel? I think it's Peel. I think Jordan Peel, yeah. Yeah, Jordan Peel did it, and I was like, the, the comedian? I was like, oh, there's no way. And then you, you brought up a good point, too. They were like, comedians are the one who know the scariest things and are the, the saddest. And it's like, you're right. And honestly, 
movie does a really fucking good job, and you rewatch it and you notice a lot of the symbolism in it. It's fucking great. 1839. Us is also really good. More than I think he does the new Twilight Zone now. Century. After the event but inside the underground chamber let me let me give you a good example you get really bad movies like uh unfriended which is like four people on a skype call i think g saw that movie for some reason i was like geez what are you doing and it's it's just really hard to watch or you have turned out that way uh you have the bye bye man which that one was really bad man the fucking bye bye man. You can't think it and you can't say it or else you die. I'm sorry, Chad. It's like, Every, it's like, like I feel like at that point you're gonna make a like a movie about like the pee pee poo poo man or some stupid that shit. That was a joke when that came out. Yes. That people were and it, it gets even worse. Do you remember Truth or Dare? That movie, the whole I walked in because no one was seeing this movie while I was on my break one day. I walk into this movie. No one's in this fucking movie, so I'm like, alright, what's going on in this movie? It is a movie where if you play Truth or Dare then, uh, you know, truth, you have to admit something to someone, or dare, th a demon makes you do a thing. So it's like, one of the one of the characters is gay, it's like, you have to tell your dad, ooh, and it's like, okay. Uh, yeah, that, okay. It's not really scary. It's... But then it's I like, mean... it gets, the twist of the movie is it's like, how do you, how do you win? And it's like, you don't! You have to cut your tongue off, and it's like, okay. What? That's it. So you can't talk. You can't play truth or dare if you don't have a tongue. There's this thing called sign language. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's... It's it's a really bad movie. Obviously, or, um, they cut Maria, off your, are hands, you sure? your hands as well. Are you sure mm -hmm. we're at the... Uh, the water part? I think it is. Oh, right. Isn't it, like, also, down here or something? An another really bad horror movie I'd like to point out. Uh, so who here likes Goosebumps? Who here remembers the best book cover? Say cheese and die, or the second oh my book God. The best Say cover? Say cheese and die Say again. Say cheese and die again. <laughs> you, I think there, there's even a third dude, one now. I, oh no, my God. the second two. one was so dumb, dude. I read the second one, and literally yeah. the plot. I, the I plot was, was literally the dude got a picture took of him, so he kept getting fatter. And then his friend took a he took a picture of his friend, so she started getting thinner. So it's literally just the plot of like thinner. And the reverse of that, and they're just racing to mm -hmm. see how to stop see, the camera by reversing so the fucking. I, I, I thought for years Goosebumps was this. this scary series when I was in like elementary school. I was like, I can't read this; it's too scary. And like, someone gave me one of the books for my birthday. I was like, I can't tell them I'm never fucking reading this. It's, I'm gonna fucking die if I read this book. This is too scary. And it was like a choose your own adventure book. But uh, needless to say, I never read that even to this day. Even though I know nowadays they're just really goofy books, and I'm probably I probably gonna get mad at them. But, so I remember the. Hold on, hold on, let me, let me get into oh, okay. what Never this mind. goes into. Go Did ahead. you know there is? They made a fucking adult Goosebump movie, basically, which is called. I think it was called Polaroid, and it's about a camera that if it takes your picture, you die. And it's like, well, I'm I'm in the picture, so it's like, what happens if we burn it? And then the, the girl lights on fire and she dies. Like that's what I mean. It's like these these movies are so garbage. They're just trying for shock value when loud noises and. Compare that to something like I would say, what's a really good horror movie? I guess to both of you, what would you, what would you consider a really good movie that just? Like... I, I enjoy. The, I think the first Saw movie is a legit good movie. I will yes, always stand that Saw One does. I will agree. Things excellent. I honestly Alien, don't know. And I... people are also right. Alien is also a strong choice. Mm -hmm. I can, honestly can't even think of horror movies that I've watched that I can think Halloween of. Halloween is great for the cinematography. Oh, baby, it's time. Let's go. Nice. The only horror movie I can think I've watched was the R.L. Stein's Haunting Hour from Cartoon Network. Yeah, right, no. Let me get, let me get him in position. So this monster just knows where you are from sound. And now we run in circles with him. Now we have our fun. Oh, he got me. No, he was in front of you, so... Ooh. Keep out of the water. It's just, really? Thanks, genius. It's just really fucking hard to, you know, enjoy horror because so many people are doing it wrong, and the way they're doing it wrong is unfortunately what sells. Because it's not going to be remembered, it's going to make a quick buck, and that, that'll be it. No one will talk about it again. But when you have something that's effective, it sticks with people that... To this day, people still want a good Silent Hill. And to this day, you know, they're still remaking the Resident Evil games because they were that good. Is Akira a horror movie? I think so. Would you say Akira's a horror movie? Mm, you can make a case one way or the other. On that I'm gonna say yes. 
It's a very hard yes, but... Yeah, I'm gonna... It is a very okay. soft yes, really. So hard isn't, like, hard to say. Oh, hard, yeah. Jaws is another one. I think people actually didn't want to go in the water for a while after that movie came out. Too. Yes, yeah, that but great. also, that was, that happened, and a lot of people were starting to kill a lot more sharks. Oh, yeah, which sucks, because sharks are wonderful creatures. And they, like... Yo, I don't know about you guys, I love me some Shark Week. Whenever that happens, I'm like, fuck yeah, Shark Week. Do you remember the Shark Week where they had started with that documentary oh, about yeah, how Megalodon could have been real? Oh, could have, oh, like, still existed. What was it? I'm sorry, no, there was a documentary, like, a fake documentary they made about how Megalodon could have existed. And I'm watching this, and my brother and I, like, uh, we watched it separately because he was in college at the time. But we're both watching this, and we're like, Megalodon doesn't exist, though. But this is... But they did, never said anything about this being fake, so it was just convincing enough that it made me need to Google it to find out that it was that it was actually fake. I love it, and I'm just like, why? <laughs> but the, yeah, no, that's it, like like I said, horror horror oh, is important. If you do it wrong, oh, you can do it wrong. You can make a bad platformer. I think you know to this day, I think. People still remember some of the lesser-known platformers. I know Nitro Red's whole channel is, hey, this is a really underrated game that maybe it didn't do a lot of things right, but damn, some of the stuff it did is really strong. It's it's just horror is do right or you're not gonna be remembered. Place this in the right spot. Yes, I did. Megan, you know what I mean. You know what I mean about it. Damn, I don't know where he went. Assists. He's right next to me. I can smell his blood. Weird how this gate this is racing. moving. Yeah. It doesn't make any noise either. This game's. Whoa. And I'm pretty oh, sure uh -oh. I did at least at one point whoa, say whoa, still could fuck? have existed. Oh, I see that mouse. Yeah, uh, my stream chat just popped up. Inside the game. What? What? Now, see, this is scary. This is actually the first scary thing the game has done. I mean, I see your mouse in, there. In-game HUD woke up suddenly. That was weird. You remember the horror movie with Frankie Muniz? No, I don't. Um, I do remember... Oh, that's the one where you, if you die in the game, you die for real came from. That, that's that one? That's actually yeah. that one? Okay, then yes, I do. It was sort of online. So I remember the other game, what, what was it, uh, the Cronenberg one, Existence? Where did the, the one with the VR? Where, did the where the fuck am I right now? I have no idea I where I think you're on the other side. Or did it act? No. Never no, mind. This, is the, this is the big room. It, Man. Uh, yeah, it took away my healing items still, unfortunately. Existence yeah. is, uh, ooh, that's a fucked up movie. There's like a flesh gun in that. It's all bony and gross. Wait, the monster's not even here anymore. I think he's behind the gate. Megan, uh, Megan, I was saying that you knew what I meant, and I'm pretty sure at one point I did say, still could have existed. You don't need to get that pedantic. All right, <laughs> just like, all right let's see if Juker's right. Do, do you guys think the monster's somehow behind the gate now because of the dying? Probably. I think it is. He's just not... Oh, wait, wait, he's what? on the he's other the door. side of the door. Oh, I guess I was kind of right. Yeah. He was on the other side of the gate. They were either on one side of the door or the other. I mean, oh, well, bye. Farewell, friends. Fifty percent right. I'll allow it. I'll take it. In time, a successor will come. He's on his way. Oh no! It's locked with a simple lock. Oh no! I think you have to use the. I needle? can't believe I have the lock pick. I solved the puzzle. Goodbye. I feel pretty sane for doing that. It's a good thing I was, I was <laughs> amnesiac enough to know how to use a, 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 lock, like a pick. lock pick. And that's the infamous water scene, and how 
And it's the most interesting part of the game. The yeah, actually mode. potentially scary part of the game, which is still going on. Oh, there's still more? Yeah. No, this is just the, the end of it. Like, we get Are to the sure? end here, and then we... Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you afraid of the dark? Are you sure? Oh, oh shit, never mind. Yeah, see, mind, then. this is something that actually works. They give you the mechanic, they let you know about it through a great show don't tell, which is a, the best way to learn about anything in any game. And then they say, guess what, fucker, we're taking it away from you, which is terrifying. This works. If the whole game was based around this monster, I would have loved it. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice we passed four. Block or I guess path, two for you. Run. Yeah, no, I I was just trying to get through the water portion, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm ready to be done. Yeah, you don't even want to, like, stop. You just keep going, but... The controls for opening the doors are super fucking terrible, so they help. Yeah. Slow you down. I know that they're all, like, uh... They all open inwards just to make you get hit by the monster, but... I know. Uh, it's, it's unintentional frustrating design. Yeah, intentional bad design, which is almost worse than unintentional bad design. That says, yeah, we wanted to make a game that isn't fun. I do still like this moment in general, but yeah. It's same, honestly. I got an escape artist achievement. Please tell me the studio's out of business. I don't want them making any more games. Well, I wouldn't be that rude about it. That's that's mm -hmm. a that's bad that thing to say. Though. I wouldn't agree with that. I want these people to make money. And they probably made loads of it. Yeah, no, like, I don't think that this game undersold. And this is a really nice area, too. Like, probably the nicest area in the game. And this is where we're going to stop. We'll live here now. Yeah. He ran away from the water, water demon, and now he's fine. He, he lives in the nice room. Apparently they made Soma, people have been saying, and I hear that's actually a much better version of this. Are they the Soma team, really? Yes, they are. Did mm. you play that? No, but I've heard things. I've heard good things. Uh, My mouse saw, has disappeared. There we go. I saw Vine Sauce play that once, and I kind of was like, all right, time to watch the stream, and then put the volume on low, and then like passed out. So that was my Soma experience. The hell is Soma? He's the uh, he's that one guy with the cool jack. He's the fuck it, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, so he gets he gets the soul that lets him go underwater, and there's like a spooky goop thing underwater. I think that's what that game is about. It's like divers that are possessed it's about by goop. spooky goop. I think it's like sea goop. This is probably very wrong. It's this is just from what I know of the game. Maybe. I mean, everybody, most people knew the joke I was making. Oh, you were making a joke? Yeah, I was, I was talking I mean, about Castlevania. Was actually, Goop. I guess that's not right. You were laughing like that. They made Penumbra, which Penumbra is actually good. Did they do Penumbra as well? Yes, they did. What is So what is the studio name exactly? I'll good question. Let me I'll look it up. I got it. Unless I get it first. I'm on the Wikipedia page. Fic frictional games. They've done Penumbra Overture, Penumbra Black Plague, Penumbra Re Requiem, Amnesia the Dark Descent, Amnesia A Machine for Pigs, and Soma. And they're currently working on two secret projects, but they have not released a secret game since one? 2015. And Secret 2. Oh, man. Secret 2 is going to be so good. Let me... I tell you guys, you're going to be excited for Secret 2. <laughs> in 2016, Frictional Games announced that due to high sales of Soma, they entered the production of two new titles, codenamed Secret 1 and Secret 2. Yeah, now I've heard I've heard decent things about Soma. Soma comes up a lot in discussions. But, uh, yeah, I, I think the Amnesia hype was a bit overblown. I don't know. It just never grabbed 100%. me. But that's also probably why, because it's not the kind of horror stuff that gets me. 
and thus as a result I lost like half the experience there and then also I didn't play it in the ideal circumstance there's specifically they specifically state like you need to play this full screen headset no other audio and, and then it became YouTube bait yeah to, but to me like I don't know man it wasn't I, hate, the I hate when you have to play a game in a very specific way Oh, I agree. You should be mm -hmm. able to play a game in any way and still have an enjoyable experience. I ask for any game to be good because I am passionate and I want to see these games succeed. And any I like looking at, least... at bad games because you could learn a lot from them and then when they don't work, it's like, okay, yeah, that's kind of disappointing, but hey. John, just FYI, if you don't want to say my full name, just say exactly the game title you just said. Secret Two, got it. <laughs> I know, I know, <laughs> I know you meant Soma. In Cardian, yeah, this was the end. Sorry. Yep, we're gonna do art block and then we're done. This was a weird high risk. <laughs> this is really mm -hmm. weird. This is a super strange list of games. I liked uh, two thirds of this stream. I, I guess. We had four what, games, what was though. the first game we played? At? It was Zillia 2. No, it went Soul Blazer. It was Soul Blazer, then yeah, D, then Blazer. this. D. Wow. We really, we really went downwards in game energy. That's <laughs> actually impressive. Hey, I had fun talking about D, and I didn't even talk about like the craziest thing in D2. We went nin yeah, we went Ninja Saviors, Soul Blazer, D, and Amnesia. We literally went from high octane beat em up to action RPG with a slightly slow pace to FMV game of slowly walking around a mansion to blurry walking around a mansion. I know this is high risk, but maybe of in the John, future. The first, the first walking game was in a hospital. <laughs> You're right, my bad. Yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe in the future, if we know, not just for RPGs, but if a game does have a really long start, maybe... I don't know, the, point, not the, point, the point of high risk was to let things yeah. in. No, I get that too. I I like and, that and because there's be a lot fair, of games that don't get big. We used two rerolls tonight too. Yeah. That's very true. Like I'm happy D got played. I don't know how many other people are, but I'm very happy about that. Alright. Uh Sakuraba, some people were saying Zilius 2 starts pretty quickly, actually. At least for a Tales game. I should really play those games. I was be yeah. I was being told, uh, yeah, Zillia two is a faster start, but it also just straight up spoils Zillia one. So it's like, mm, no, we'll pass. All right, let's do it. Last art block of the night, and based on what I've seen, it's a doozy. <laughs> We've got Ten Mare, Shade Durgan, evolved in Shik's Pokemon game. So my second post of brew is also a quick mashup of stuff that happens on the Discord during your streams. I think this is going to be my shtick when it comes to art. If it comes up on Discord, it's interesting enough. I uh, understand comment like my f up of Tenmar's name into Tenmare, ending up as a Rule 63 furry for Tenmar left pick. <laughs> and the shade evolving in Umbreon right two picks in the middle of the Tenmare combo being brought up, or was a little after the combo, but it was entertaining at the time, so I included it. If my posting the art gets to be too much, let me say the word and I'll cut it down. In also, I'm going to clear up that it's only when you stream that the art will be made, so any combo-based art will be during the stream, just be kind of stream-relevant. Well, as long as it's stream-relevant, then it's not as not a big deal. Alright. What do we got next? We got... Oh, this is animated. <laughs> Surprise! You can't just bait me to draw a Rosa John and not expect to see something. Apologies for me not knowing how to use Buru. I hope you enjoyed the nope, first right. Rosa John picture. I'm currently dealing with a nasty art block, so drawing a few Rosa Johns should help me just help you smother know, it. It's too bad that we already have bits because I just realized, fuck, we're so stupid for not doing star bits for this channel at this point. Yeah, you oh know? my fucking oh god. god, you're totally right. Oh, That's so no. fucking smart, and we, we never did it. We already have bits that I like, and I'm like, damn it. With the, oh, they were so fucking perfect. For real, though, it's so surreal seeing this still be strong for nearly 10 months. At this rate, come February, people are going to be drawing her in birthday clothes. Oh, my God. No, yeah, they're going to be birthday. drawing her in her birthday suit. I think that's I, the joke. I wasn't going to make that joke, but... Well, I think that's the joke. 
If you do, we'll we'll ban you because that's not allowed on Twitch. Don't do I've that. Been I'm yeah. subscribed for a while, and while I've fallen behind on a lot of streams, which I'm slowly catching up, it's nice to have a backlog of stuff to listen and watch during work and my drawing sessions. Your stuff is always a delight, and it's utter chaos. Keep it up, man, and try not to drown in the sea of boobs. Not to say you're not allowed to draw Rosa John in her birthday suit, but you can't post it on the boru. Yeah, you could you could draw it. You just I can't show it on stream. And you put it like, on Twitter. Likely, if if you sent me a nude picture of Rosa John, I'd be like, I can't retweet that. I would. I, 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 I seem like I would retweet literally anything stream art related. No, I actually do have a line. It's just it's just very faint. And I have it based on this. There is a f follow up. <laughs> on, on the plus side, your income has skyrocketed. On the downside, Twitch mods now have you in their sights. <laughs> now this, this was, this was why we were like, yeah, the bit bra, we can't do that. Like, we can only go so far on that one. At this point, you need a not safe for work Twitter account to retweet that stuff. I mean, I don't really get sent that stuff, so that's why I'm not yeah, really no. worried about it. Like, we'll get stuff like this, but like, they're still fully dressed. Thank you, thank you, Will. I know you were just—you were like, ah, it'll go away. Like it, it probably won't happen. But thank you for drawing something for this. I appreciate it so much. And especially doing an animated GIF to go along with it too. That's real good. Get. You want bigger boobies? Check this man cleavage. It's so big. Bagel uses it as his personal bed. I could walk around the house with him or on uh, with him on without waking him up. And this will only get bigger, especially with my big mouth on stream. I'm glad I've seen people in chat and a few streams say they've been enjoying the muscle edits. Nice change of pace, they said. Also, slave for me, which is why I misspelled game and eggs as I am tired. Speaking of which, you said the main problem with the emotes is I did with the hat turned into a helmet. Went smaller and that the words were offset due to the pecs. Think it'd be better if I removed and replaced it with more hair. I probably have to change it. I don't know, like, it's worth a try. Mm hmm. If I were to attempt to redo the emote again with changing the pec abs and removing the hat, what word do you think would best? Work? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't even really think you need the words on, to be honest. If I'm being real. All right, we've got <laughs> the horror. Here is John if he was scared, even though he is immune to such feeling. Maybe in the future we can get an actual reaction. Maybe. Ah. Boo. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so here's the Whoa. thing. I do things do scare me. I'm not immune to being scared. It's just it's shitty shit like jump scares, which is just like as yeah. I've always said, it's just cheap. Pretty cheap much scares. what I was talking about. The only the like or like like psychological horror is what gets me. That's why everyone that, tells me I would enjoy Get Out. Up. Yeah. That's why I really enjoyed Silent Hill 2 when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought, like, that was real good. The game made me feel uncomfortable, and that is, like, the kind of scare that I appreciate. And, like, I'm playing through uh, AI Somnium Files, and that's just like, wow, just this is a, kind of disgust disgusting. I just watched <laughs> a friend play that game. It's really good, and it's from oh, the Danganronpa it's, people. So. Yeah, Danganronpa and, uh, not, and uh, Zero Escape people. Well, there you go. There's the birthday suit. <laughs> oh, what was I doing again? She's probably going to go get a midnight snack. Who knows? We all have amnesia, apparently. I'm impressed that she is walking around the house with a lantern. Just like, eh, the pa I could turn on a light. Now I'll just grab There's a lantern. There's a luma in there, you know? It's, yeah, this, this is where Bagel Luma hangs out. It's inside the lantern. Thanks, lore. Jumney. Lore. So much lore. Thank you all for tonight. Had this one already loaded up on my end. You look so small and cute. You shouldn't have wandered wan wandered into my gym at your size, little one. As impressive as I am, you need to stay away when I'm working out. Wouldn't want to get hurt. Come, I'll get you some ice cream. What the fuck? I mean, it's All still right. Spike Chunsoft, though, isn't it, Poker? I think it is. That's that's what I remember Highwing telling I mean, me. It's, I, it's apparently the uh, the specific Zero Escape person, not the not a uh, whoever. I guess uh, I should say Omnium the Omnium. the Minecraft bed thing I was talking about earlier. That was during that stream of the Somnium Files where that happened. Dude, oh, okay. I, dude, know what, I know what the part is then. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Doodle, Doodle, well, the person who did the animated this animation earlier says, "So, John, you're gonna use that GIF as a bit alert, right?" I learned something today. I didn't know. I'm I learning. didn't know that stream elements lets you literally set alerts 
You can set specific alerts to trigger if a specific user donates or triggers said alert. Oh, yes. So, I could rig it so that this would pop up for you or Jumny, and only you or Jumny, and that to me would be hilarious. But I also will probably wouldn't do that. I don't think that's fair, because then, that's then not, yeah, a lot of that's people super in the chat will ask. I would too. just I would just laugh. Like, but that's also be like for like the longest viewers, you go like, alright, you get a special alert. This is your special alert if you ever do anything. So that would be funny. But I don't think I would actually do that. That's, that's I still I still good. extremely appreciate the animation though, Will. Thank you so much. Potentially good raid message there. D means anything. <laughs> D means everything. Anything is pretty good. All right, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. That's our raid message. I, I'm going with D for now. D means anything is pretty good. Wayward over there was. <laughs> Joe, no. Oh no, Jomny's like, oh my god, Jomny, what would you do if I actually did that? If I made one of your either one of your pictures appear whenever you donated bits or otherwise, or if I made that animation appear. E Eegs is also it's a pretty good. Life tax and eegs are also pretty good raid messages. I kind of want to go with life tax actually. Now that now that you mentioned just that, letter think, D oh, no, is also pretty good. But no, like I, I like the emote. I like the idea of just going into someone's chat and going life tax and see if they respond to it. They're like, you gotta pay the life tax. Come on. Like, people want life tax or D. They're both pretty good. I like them both. I don't know. I don't know. How about it's I'm... D life tax or life taxed with a D at the end of it? Cool. Next. Previously on Life Tax D. <laughs> Life Tax D. Oh god, this new dashboard doesn't even have the fucking follow button anymore. Uh, it doesn't, which is another reason I didn't like it. And it's not shit. even one of the Kanata code features. Yeah, I... Oh, come on, man. It's so fucking garbage. I'll use it, but I'm like, man, now I can't see who's streaming. Still trying to get used to this new dash. They need to change a lot about this. I miss the old dash already. Same. There's features about this I like. Like, I like the fact Same. that things can actually move around and be adjusted correctly. Same. But uh, right. not having the following button anymore sucks, because that's literally Same. how I accessed the following menu, was going to my dashboard. I apparently need to start playing around with it then, because I haven't Don't even checked it at all. Don't forget to do that economic code if you want all the features. Oops, did I miss someone's art on... No, I did, actually. Sorry, I did miss a picture here. Yeah, I missed one quick picture here. From Aaron. I'm not so good at these types of games. I'm not good at creepy music or if I see blood, but I'm coping through this <laughs> because I like watching your live streams. Looks like I'll be up all night again. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna probably watch some anime, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I hope you had fun. Didn't mean to spooks. Like I said, I figured I wasn't gonna get scared, so my that my apathy would probably keep people from getting scared. But sometimes that doesn't work for everybody. There's a following button on your channel page, Sean. Yeah, on my channel page, but not on the new dashboard. So so the old dashboard literally had, like, there would be a button right here that I could just click for following, and the new dashboard just does not have that. Yep. A moment in Orb 3D scared you? Oh, yeah, the Purple Beast, because I was just didn't fucking expect it. <laughs> that was a game that you wouldn't expect something like that to come from. <laughs> I love this Yakuza gift. It's so good. Oh yeah, I, I love my Yakuza modded gifts. I yeah, no, you can send me that, so it's perfect. I think I, right. I think like three of these gifts are mine right now, or at least ones that I've found. I haven't used any of my gifts because oh, they're not good. Okay. All right, I know who. What's we're wrong with Ganon shadow boxing? Nice. My own chat rules just popped up as I tried to type in my own chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, job, Twitch. Man. That's Thanks. happened to me a couple of times. Guys, what happens if I break my own chat rules? Am I not allowed to? <laughs> Am I not allowed to type my own chat? What do we agree on? Was it life tax D? Or are we gonna? I like life tax with a D at the end of it. Like life yeah. tax. You've been life taxed. You've been hit by. You've been struck by life tax. tax. All right. Uh, it was Patty's birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, birthday. Tag. Patty had a birthday, so we're going to raid him because he's just playing your... Toe Jam and Earl. The new one? Yep. Nice. Ah. It's a radical game. I like the art style they went for. Oh, man, it's your, it's your 74th month's anniversary. 
Oh no. But it's only visible oh, to John. No. Oh no, did he no. literally Being Proton John raided? Did he literally just end the game. Mm. Did that's nice. Did she focus on the task at hand? I'm trying to focus. It's really hard when all of these nerds are piling in, dude. Oh, look at me, I've got a rain. Taylor, can you do me a favor? Uh, can you do me a favor and welcome the Proton Raiders to the stream? Welcome! No, I guess they are staying alive, and I think we're safe. Uh, <laughs> I think Letitia might be thirsty too. I think, I think they might still be I know you're still watching on your stream. And you probably pulled my stream up right now. Why are we going back to Earth anyway? Told Jeff said he wanted to Thank you very much. Wait, what? I didn't say that. So that's why we can't. For preemptively raiding the host thing. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Isn't that Earth right there? I love, I love that he's, he's just accepting of this. He just knows me at this point. Knows exactly. You need me to change raid target? No. Fucking kidding me? No. We're playing, we're playing Toe Jam and Earl, dude. All right, go. Cool. We're gonna game. go get oh, Patty some love. Drop dude. Wish him happy belated birthday since it was yesterday. We're out. Okay. I'll see y'all on. God, I'm gonna regret this. Friday, I think I'm probably gonna do Mario Maker again. And that means uh, a new update. The new update, which means which means the pokies are in the game. If if uh, you're gonna be making levels, get them in before tomorrow or the Friday stream. Yeah, start making them now. Make them now, not right now. You probably gotta go to bed, but after yeah, that you can do God. it. <laughs> Same. There's gonna be a lot of levels tomorrow featuring. Or I, guess, I guess it is tomorrow. Yeah, featuring pokies. Have fun with all the pokies. Robocop, Robocop, please. I need you right now, like emotion. Robocop, shoot the pokies. Robocop, please. Shoot all the cactus. Why are they walking towards you? Have a good night, everybody. Why do I make such Disappoint. terrible decisions? I'll see you all Friday.